here with New Horizons Golf. Some of you have asked me if there's some things you can do in the off season to, to improve your weight shift action, your knee action, you know, and your, your basically your whole lower body action. I want to show you a basic drill that, that I've done over the years that I feel really helps me, you know, learn how to get my arms in position so that the body can do the work and that I can get the right lower body action in, into the forward motion. You know, what I did a long time ago is I used to warm up every day uh, with knockdowns. I actually played 400 knockdown shots. And my definition of a knockdown is that the body does the work. The arms just stay connected to the body. The body does the work. When the body stops, the arms stop. And in doing so, you know, we're making a partial swing and we can actually play a shot that goes a little bit lower and it will penetrate the wind a little bit better. We need to move the ball back in the stance a little bit to do that. That basic shot looked like, looked like this. So again, I move that ball back in my stance. I, I let my, my weight shift to my right foot in the backswing as my body counterbalanced that action. I just let my arms get in a position where I felt like that right arm was connected to the right side of my body. Now, some people will connect a little bit in front, some people right on side, and some people a little bit further back. So depending on your swing path, you're going to have to find that connection point that works best for you. And uh, you can send me an email and we can discuss that if, uh, if you need to find out more about how that works. But the basic idea was just to get that right arm connected to the right side and then keep it connected and feel the body motion that you use in order to, to move through the ball properly. So that action looked like this. And I'm using a pitching wedge here, and just even that little shot like that's going to go 90 yards with a pitching wedge. Um, you know, if I if I just make that motion right there. Now, in order to get to the feeling that you know those arms are connected, one of the best ways you can do this drill is to actually pause when you get to that position. Pause. You know, stop for a second. Get the feeling of the connection, whether it really feels connected to you, whether the arms feel like, you know, are you like a, a pretzel or do you feel like, well, my arms are really in a nice balanced position with my body. My body's counterbalancing the position of my arms right now. Now from there, I can learn to make that motion as I go forward. So that would look like this. Okay, the hardest part of initiating this action from a pause position it's just getting the mind to accept that you can actually swing from a pause position. You're probably going to think your way through it a little bit. You're going to fumble with this a lot. You're going to miss some shots. That's okay. Trust me. You can miss every one of these. And if, if you go back and just do the regular motion without pausing, those motions are going to feel a lot better than they were when you were doing the, the, the drill. Plus, they're going to feel a lot better than they, than they did beforehand. So let's go ahead and do a few more of these. I initiated that swing really well that time in the forward motion. I could feel my right knee move towards my left knee, and this is one of the keys to getting this to work well. As we move forward, we need the weight to be moving from the right foot to the left foot. We need the, the knees to be squeezing together, and we need the core to be rotating in the forward direction. If those three motions are synchronized, you're going to find that you're, you're going to coordinate this action really well. Here we go. Once again, I feel like that one was really coordinated well. I got my knee squeeze, my weight shift, and my rotation all working in sync in the forward motion. And that's really the key here. Is those, those, those are the three parts of the lower body action. Our weight shift, our knee squeeze, and our, our, our hips pivoting. And they do need to be synchronized if we're going to play a good shot. If we're going to be a body player, we're going to create a swinging action. And this is the basic engine of the swing. we got to get good at coordinating this action. Okay, look, let's look at these, some of these from the rearward direction so we can see what that looks like. Okay, so as I play these, let's keep in mind that what we want to have happen is we want the body to be initiating the motion and we want to get that right arm connected to the body. And from there, the weight shift, the knee squeeze, and the hip turn are what deliver that club through the target. And that would be your basic knockdown. Okay, now I'm going to add that pause into the motion so we can see what it looks like when we get in a pause position and we try to initiate that action with our body in control.
one last thing I want you to notice about this drill is even though at, at first I'm doing it in sort of a, a very passive or controlled manner, you can learn to do this and you can actually play it with more full power. As your confidence grows, you're going to find out that you're going to put more and more energy into it even though the stroke is going to stay relatively the same length. So that's going to look like this. So that length swing right there just sent the ball a good 120 yards. Even though it's a partial swing, it's, a, it's you know most of the distance that I'm going to play a pitching wedge you know, on a full swing. We're going to find it's just by getting more range of motion in the golf swing later on, getting to the full top of the back swing, it helps me create more arc. And by going all the way through to the full finish, I'm going to gather more speed in the swing and I'm going to be able to play that pitching wedge another 20 or 30 yards just by adding more arc. But the main power of the swing just comes from this basic action from the lower body doing the work from the torso to your knees to your feet. When they talk about playing power golf from the ground up, that's what we talk about. We're talking about utilizing our weight shift, our knee squeeze, and our weight shift to generate the power. Everything else goes along for the ride. series of shots there, I was able to play those shots 120 to 30 yards, even though I was pausing at the top of the backstroke there. So, you're going to find again, when your body motion is really efficient and your arms learn to go along for the ride, you're going to generate a lot of efficient power and you're going to find that you're really going to become a body player.